time you lose a game, you're, uh, uh, it's, uh, you feel low, you're upset. But I could not be more uh, pleased uh, for Coach Smith and his program. Look, they've, uh, uh, they've uh, uh, a lot of new guys. Uh, he's a new coach last year, and, and full credit to him. That's a, uh, a good win. Seemed like they were kind of pressing heavily on you guys. They were very offensive. It seemed like at times you say that was there. Uh, look, I, we had I don't, uh, 11 corner kicks. We had 11 corner kicks. We hit the post. Uh, we had two. The best two chances second half. We had our opportunities tonight, we just didn't take them. But once again, full credit to them. They kept us off, and uh, in overtime, um, uh, they took their opportunity. And once again, congratulations. And can you talk a little bit about those that that difference in corners? It seems like the shots were about the same. I think it was eight to eight uh, at the end of regulation, and then like eleven to uh, five. What do you think wasn't going well offensively on, on Syracuse? Side? I thought we created chances, you know. Like we, we had probably, uh, Simon had a good chance second half. Tejon had one. Uh, we hit the post first half. I, I felt if we got the first one, we'd probably get a second. But once again, not, not, nothing to uh, detract away from, uh, from Cornell. Um, they, uh, they, they came here and got, and got a win. What do you kind of take away from this game? Not a lot, uh, positively. Um, other than, look, it's been a bad week for us. Uh, we uh, we find out a lot about ourselves now. Um, look, uh, you know, I'm a big believer that uh, you know you you don't build character during adversity. You know, you find out a lot about yourself in adversity, and, and character uh, shows itself. Uh, this is a big uh, a big moment to see how we respond. Uh, we've got another doozy on Friday night. We've got Duke coming to town. Uh, are we going to feel sorry for ourselves or uh, are we going to come back and uh, um, play like you know we can? Once again, we, we had glimpses tonight, um, but it did look like a midweek game where we are a little bit heavy-legged and uh, in overtime, I, I think they probably had the, uh, uh, the run of play. And now two losses in a row, does that change your game plan going into the game against Duke? No, not at all. Uh, plan is to, to see if we can win and beat Duke. Uh, it's a very good. This is the best Duke team in the last couple of years. Um, look, we know that our league is pretty brutal um, and uh, um, we're going to have to uh, ensure. Let's have a couple of quality days of practice and uh, uh, and we'll be ready to go on Friday. I think you said something last week about midweek games. Um, what do you think it is about these Tuesday night games that you think is difficult about? Uh, look, I think all across the country. I don't. I don't think it's just here. It's uh, you've got. Look now, both teams are in classes today, and you've got to get yourself ready. But we came off an emotional loss on Friday. Uh, we were looking for a reaction today, and I and I don't think we got one. Look. Uh, we've been spoiled uh, with our teams in recent years. Uh, there's been a lot of winning, there's been a lot of midweek winning. Uh, this is a new group, it's a good group, and, and we'll get there. Like, uh, uh, this is not me uh, being, uh, like, every loss is devastating, because you know, when you pull on a Syracuse jersey, you expect to win every game. However, tonight we didn't, and, uh, but we'll, be, we'll learn from this. It will be painful uh, to watch the tape. Um, but the guys, uh, look, I, I believe we've got a ton of character uh, in our locker room and uh, it's going to reveal itself now. Thank you. My pleasure.